Warframe is a game that I have had my eye on for a while, but I just never really got around to trying it out. Until now. After watching a few really cool cutscenes and playing a very small amount of the tutorial, I found myself having to pick one of three classes. I'm gonna go with Excalibur because they just seem the coolest so far. The first weapons I picked up were the Skana, the Kunai, and the Paris. I chose these weapons because I thought they looked cool, and to me, fashion is always more important than efficiency. I completed the first mission, then I noticed something in the top right hand corner of my screen. Mastery rank test available. Ooh, what's that? You've qualified for the mastery rank one test. You can only attempt this once per day. Are you ready to become initiate? Are you ready to become initiate? Okay, sure, why not? This is something that I thought was quite cool, but for now it was still very easy and I did complete it quite quickly. Hey, I did it. Okay, cool. I followed the main storyline, I met a few NPCs, and then I completed my first proper quest. At this point I was enjoying the game a fair amount, and even though I didn't really know any of the lore, I wasn't that confused. And then I did this. I had accidentally started a quest called the Duveri Paradox, which was a long, very confusing road. But... It had some pretty cool moments. At first, I could ride a horse. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Then, I could fly a horse. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And then I could fly a giant mechanical dragon. This game had basically taken everything I expected Warframe to be and gave me something completely different. But for now, let's get back to the other mode. I killed my first boss, completed another two quests, and then killed another boss. And then I made it to Fortuna. This planet had a really, really cool opening cutscene, and I just wanted to mention that because it really was awesome, just the way everything looked and the music in the background especially, the music was fantastic. This was really cool. But even cooler than the intro to this planet was the fact that you could also go hoverboarding on it. This planet in particular also had a really nice storyline to it, and there are also a bunch of optional challenges that lets you unlock new hoverboards, I believe. So I completed the main storyline of that planet, which I really liked. I found that planet really enjoyable. I'm not sure if you could tell. And then I did also complete this quest on that planet as well. But doing all of these quests as a solo started to get lonely. So I got myself a pet. Well, I get to name my pet. I'm, I'm going to name her Fluffy, because why not? Your pet will be named Fluffy. Yes, they will. And with that, another quest was complete, and soon came another three. Now, you may well be wondering what my goal was here, and my goal was to finish the tutorial. It's fairly widely considered that the end of the tutorial comes when you finish the quest called The Second Dream, and so that's what I was trying to unlock. All I had to do to unlock the quest now was to open all the junctions to and including Uranus. It was here that I had finally unlocked it. The second dream. After completing several smaller missions and watching several small cutscenes, I was nearing the end of the tutorial. Now, I will admit, I don't really know what was happening in this quest, but there are some points where I was just really overpowered. May the force compel you! <laughs> and that was quite cool. And then there were also some cutscenes where I had no idea what was going on, but it was also somehow cool as well. Oh, I'm strong, very strong, apparently. And then at the end of everything, oh, I was left cool. with this. Oh, I don't super know what's happening, but I've got a character creation screen. Okay, so there you go. I've, I've created that character. I meant to not feel? click that button, but I clicked the button. Okay, I'm gonna go for Madurai because it says speed and I like speed. 
Oh! It's me! Okay, so I am the kid. I'm the kid, and the kid is me. We are one. Okay, I got it. Well, that clears it up, doesn't it? And with this, I had accomplished what I set out to do. It is worth noting that finishing this tutorial, or at the very least, the very early game, took me almost 50 hours. And there is so much more content in this game, and that alone is just kind of crazy. For example, once you finish the tutorial, you now have this new option called Operator in this little menu. And when you click on it, and you click on the Focus option, there are so many... This is like a whole tech tree that just gives you bonuses, and this is one out of the five possible tech trees. So this really is just kind of the tutorial, and there's so much more to discover in this game. It's insane. I do also want to say that some of the cutscenes are genuinely the best cutscenes I've ever seen in any video game. The art style as well in some of them, especially in the Duveri Paradox, are really, really cool, and the music that's paired with them are just insane sometimes. I think a lot of work has gone into the, the cutscenes and the music, and it all works together very well a lot of the time. So I just wanted to mention that as well, because that's something that I, I noticed a lot during those cutscenes throughout the game. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up for the beginning of my Warframe journey anyway. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.